Hey guys, I'd like to get your opinion and possibly help me diagnose this rough idle that's going on. This is a 2005 Mercedes CLK 320, and just recently I noticed it's developed a rough idle. So I'm gonna put it in drive. So it's gotten to the point where it's like rocking back and forth to the point of shaking the whole car. And in case my phone's gonna try to auto correct the shaking, I put a water bottle right here to help you kind of see what's going on. Kind of feels like it's rocking from the left to the right. Trying to hold my phone as still as possible. As you can probably see, it's rocking. So one thing I've noticed that helps, and this may help you in diagnosing it, when I turn the AC on and the power on full blast, that really quiets down that rough idle and almost makes it go away completely. But when I turn it off, it just goes right back to rocking. And again, you kind of see in the water how it's rocking back and forth. So just to show you what's going on under the hood, that might help with your diagnosis. I'm gonna put it in gear. I've got the parking brake on. That's what it looks like and sounds like under the hood. It does sound like there's a bit of a knocking. Another thing that might help in your diagnosis is when I'm driving, when I'm going pretty much any speed, I don't feel any rocking. There's no signs of a rough running engine or anything. It's just when I'm at a stop. So I'm hoping this is something as simple as just my idle needing to be adjusted, but I'm worried that it's something a little more serious. So if anybody out there has had this issue on a Mercedes and figured out what the problem was, let me know in the comments below what you think it might be. I'm definitely not an expert in Mercedes and I'm hoping it's just a simple fix and not something more serious. Now here in the near future, I am gonna take it to a shop and have it diagnosed and fixed. And when I do that, I'll make a video explaining what it was, what needed to be repaired. So when that video is done, I'll put a link to it in the description and the comments below. So if you don't see a link to a video in the comments, that means I haven't gotten it diagnosed yet. But in the meantime, if you'd help me out, if you have any clue of what might be going on, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what your opinion is, what you think it might be. I would definitely appreciate it. So thanks for watching and thanks for your help.